Hey BookTube, Chris over at Cryptable Chris asked a question about getting stickers off your books and I have a solution for you. One of the most frustrating things about buying books is when the bookseller will put a sticker on the book. It's really a hassle to try and get them off because of course the first thing you want to do is use your fingernail and you go to pick at it and all of a sudden half your cover has come off and there's a sticky residue and half the sticker still on the book. It's just really frustrating. Well, I have a quick, easy, simple way to do it and actually it's all about having the right tools. Now having the right tools is the mantra of my life because I flip houses. I do a lot of DIY and I learned finally that if you want the job to get done right and you want to do it fast and you don't want to cuss a lot, <laughs> then you need the right tools. So in this case, what you need are just a couple of things. First is a razor scraper. This is um, it's a scraper that holds a razor and then it has a spare razor inside. It costs about a dollar and I got it at Lowe's Hardware. And the reason you need this specific thing is because it's got that really, really razor sharp edge. And that's the key to getting those stickers off. Now here are some things that you don't want to use. You don't want to use your fingernail. Just give up now. That won't work. I have a putty knife here. I also have a pair of scissors here. These, they're just not sharp enough. And honestly, if you think that this is going to work by just taking the edge of the scissors and scraping it, you're just going to mess up your book. And then you're going to wish you hadn't because now you're going to have to go buy another book if you really want a pristine cover. This might work in a pinch. It's a paring knife that I use as a letter opener. It's pretty sharp, but honestly, it's worth your time to go get the razor scraper. You also need some Goo Gone. This is easy to find. I found it at my Target in the dollar spot. They also sell it at Dollar Tree. And if you go to a hardware store to get your razor scraper, they'll probably have this. So that's it. These are the two things that you need along with um, it's like a paper towel or something to put this on to get the sticker residue off. Now here's how you do it. The first one I'm going to show you is this easy sticker. And all you do is lay it down, slide your razor scraper up underneath that sticker, go slowly, and have a little bit of patience, but gently just scrape that right under there. Just run your blade right under that sticker, and there it goes. Ta -da! Now, most of the time, you'll have a little bit of a sticky residue. This one's not much. To get that sticky residue off, all you need is a paper towel and some glue gone. And then, just rub it off. Now that sticky residue just comes right off. And the great thing about the Goo Gone is that it won't destroy the paper. It's an oil-based product, and so it's not going to wreck your cover. You can get the rest of the residue off just with the dry part of your paper towel, but it really, really is nice. See how that sticker came off? Now I'll show you how to get this one off. But I'm going to show you on this um, soft cover book because it's a shiny surface and it's going to be um, easier to get off a shiny surface but it's really still a hard sticker to get off so let's do that one okay once again the secret is go slowly and do it really patiently all you want to do is slide that razor up underneath of that sticker believe me this sticker will not want to let go And that came right off. You can see it was kind of a bear, but now I've still got that sticky residue. So once again, go back to my Goo Gone. And that residue off. You can kind of see, show you the glare on there. See how that residue is all gone? So that's all you need. You just need a razor scraper and some Goo Gone, and uh, you can get all the stickers off all your books. Hope this helps. Uh, have fun taking all the stickers off your books, and um, I'll just see you next time. Thanks for watching.